Hello everyone, Dark Dimensions Hide House here. Today we're going to be doing a project, making a mask stand for the Friday the 13th, Jason NES. One of my favorite horror video games from back then. Alright, so we got this right here. We're going to use this piece of wood to go with the, the, the whole Camp Crystal Lake. It's going to be the base. We got these Jason NES masks. These are from Horror Effects Designs. You can get their items online. Here's the two different NES masks that they have. This one doesn't have the chevrons. You can see where the chevrons were, but they're painted over, and this one has an aged look. And then here's the clean look with the purple chevrons. Also from Horror Effects Designs, they have these, the spear. I'm gonna do that, put a spear on there. I found this old school NES controller uh, at a store. It's only $15. I thought that'd be harder to find. I'm gonna use that on there for the display. And of course the whole purple and turquoise paint. I want to give this uh, wood like a stain look. I, get, I didn't find any turquoise stain. I wanted to do turquoise stain and like purple around it. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to water this down and I'm going to see if it works on the, the wood grains. All right, so this base right here, I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's $8.99, which isn't a bad price but it was a half off, it was on sale, so it was even a better deal. I'm gonna stick with this side right here. I'm hoping this will work, because like I said, I couldn't find any turquoise stain and I wanted to give it that look, so I put some water in here. I'm gonna dilute it. This is trial and error right here. This works. You like that color, Jim? It is pretty. Yeah. Because I mean, it this. looks like it. I might have to do more paint. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be really watery. Let's see. No? Well, it's working. I was hoping maybe a little bit less. Maybe I'll go over it with some uh, water. I mean, but it's still neat because you can see the, the wood grain. Yeah. Just gonna see if maybe just using straight water right here kind of dilute it a little bit I mean it's probably gonna dry lighter usually paint does that but I did want it bold but I wanted the wood grain to show also all right so now we're gonna use some of this the purple gloss this paint that I, already had. I wanted this edge around here and like fade in a little bit just to give it purple look because I want the turquoise, turquoise and purple. I don't know how well this purple is going to work on this part. It's working good. Did a boo boo. base. Now I'm just going to let it dry. Okay, so I have the controller here that I'm going to get my placement because I'm going to have the the spear on there and then the thing that holds the mask, the dowel rod. I don't want to cut the wire in case I still want to use it because these are hard to get controllers. So the placement I'm going to go with is something like that. Uh, I'm thinking the spear Probably right there, and the mask, probably right there. What do you think of that? Looks good. Okay. All right, I guess I need to charge my battery. <laughs> uh oh, unprofessional. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back with the hole pre drilled. All right, so I have the two different holes right there. I have the hole for the dowel rod right there, and then the, for the PVC pipe that's gonna hold the spear on. I got the two pieces, I measured them out. 
now I just have to cut it out. brush technique right there. I'm going to use this uh, turquoise to go over this purple. A little bit goes a long way. So just a little tiny bit. Oh, yeah. two pieces in. I'm going to use this Gorilla Glue and oh, my big cap is really on there. Can't open it, eh? Nah, this Gorilla Glue is so strong. I can't open it. Also, I have this right here. A 90 degree angle. I can't find my triangle. So I'm where the kids put it. Just going to use a little bit of glue. Because this stuff does expand. this easel right here at Walmart. It's made of plastic, so hopefully whenever I screw it in it won't mess up. I'm going to place it right here, and that's where I'm going to glue it, but I'm going to need to put some holes right here. So let's see. Will this work without cracking? So far so good. Feels like it's hollow. Next step is to put some glue, screw this on, then I'm either going to put a clear gloss or I'm going to do a resin on here, the base. Alright, so I'm putting the screws in here, pre-screwing these, and then I'll put some glue, this will make it easier to get it started. Then get an ugly dish to this. Yeah, it would be beautiful. Use this Gorilla Glue. I wish I would have had the E6000 glue, but this is what I got. Because this stuff expands and it gets all foamy. But whatever works best so this won't fall. I guess since it'll expand, it'll, it'll go in there and really hold this mask. So I already got it. Where are we 
to go. It's gonna go right there. All right, so I'm gonna give this stuff a try right here. It's a gloss. I'm gonna see how this works on this base. Instead of resin, that'll take 72 hours. The reason I wanna try using resin is this bark right here. I figure the resin will hold this in, unlike the clear gloss. Let's see how well this works. working as great as I thought it would. The wood is like porous, it's just soaking it up. So I'll just try it on the spear. I'll gloss this up. All right, so the gloss did not work. The wood just soaked it right up. So I have this that I got. It's a clear resin. So it's a two part. You just mix two equal parts in the cup and then you mix it together. See, I don't think I'm gonna need that much. What do you think, Jin? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Stink. I'm gonna try just a little bit. Yeah, it does smell. I don't think it needs that much just to do this base. And if it does, we can always just add some more. The only problem is, is that it takes about like 72 hours for this stuff to dry. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a long time. I wonder if I can finish this. This project. So I'm trying to get equal amount. Yeah, I'm feeling this is too much. And I did raise it, so because it's going to be dripping off. I'm gonna stir it up. Anyways, this one is the NES Jason Friday the 13th. I want to do some other ones, like I want to do Jason X, but I'm trying to come up with some ideas, like how I'm going to do that one. I'm not really sure. I watched the kill count. I need to watch it because I haven't watched it in a long time to get some inspiration. Like, what else like, can I do with that mask? And of course, we want to do part six, uh, Friday the 13th. I already have ideas for that one. I thought this would have been more than enough resin. But apparently not. Alright, so here is some more of the, the clear resin right there. See how shiny it is? I did it on the sides. Right now it's going to be dripping. So that's why I raised it up. And uh, it's going to take 72 hours to dry. Alright, the last step that I'm going to do is I'm trying to make my own blood. I saw that you can get some Elmer's clear glue, use some food coloring, so I bought that. Uh, they said use red and a little bit of green, and they say that's the, the best. I've seen where people put blue, but I don't know, I'm, I'm going to try the green and see how that works. It's probably more than enough right there. I don't know how many drops to put. Try that out, stir it, and see what it looks like. Oh, it already looks good. What do you think, Jen? Mm -hmm. But I could see why you'd want to put like a little bit of green to darken it up. I don't want to make it too dark where it looks kind of like zombie looking. Does it look like blood? Looks like blood. Looks you, like pure blood. <laughs> you really wanted to go that route. Uh, You're gonna build a lot. You're being so gentle. Oh, that's good. He's not spilling it all over the floor. 
They're no Dexter. Yes, he's a Dexter. He's hearing Ash die in the background. I'm, I'm facing a leather face right now. Alright, that, that's scary right there. Oh, thank God I didn't get him to go. Alright, go ahead and uh, get the controller. Oh, he just killed me. I just heard his chainsaw. Let's see how that looks right there. Want to take the controller? Die! Alright, so there's that right there. some blood on here. What do you think, Jen? Okay. I put the resin on there and the wood just soaked it up. And I'm, I'm guessing because you had to seal the wood. But now I'm gonna try this. Polyurethane, it's oil based, and it's a clear gloss. So I'm gonna try that and hope that this works. And then, I don't know, because I don't think you can put wood sealer over the stain and the paint. I'm not really sure. And on this stuff, you wanna stir it, you don't wanna shake it, because then that'll create the bubbles. resin on there so here is the Friday the 13th Jason NES mask stand make them remember this is your home Jason protect it Look what they did to you, Jason. Kill them. They can't hide. There's no place to hide. 